Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mr. Budehas, your online math teacher. In today's video, you will learn sample space, events, and getting the probability of an event. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to accurately define sample space, event, and probability. Accurately determine the number of outcomes of a sample space and an event and correctly solve for the probability of an event. Let's start. Let's learn first what is a sample space. Sample space is a set of all different possible outcomes or result of an experiment. For example, in flipping a coin, the sample space is equal to head and tail. This head and tail or HT is the sample space or the possible outcome or result when you flip a coin. And that's an example of a sample space. Next is event. It is an any set of outcomes derived from the sample space. For example, in rolling a die, the sample space is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And one possible event for this experiment is getting an even number in rolling a die. So the, the event there is getting an even number in rolling a die. And the possible outcomes when you get an even number in rolling a die is 2, 4, and 6. Next, we have the probability. Probability measure of certainty or uncertainty that a particular situation or event will happen. If E is an event, then the probability of an event is defined as P of E or the probability of an event is equal to the number of an event can occur divided by the total number of outcomes. In symbols, we may express the probability of an event as follows. Probability of an event is equal to N of E or the number of ways an event can occur divided by N of S or the total number of outcomes. For example, find the probability of getting ahead in flipping a coin. The sample space in flipping a coin is equal to head and tail, meaning there are two possible results, and that's the sample space. Since getting ahead appears only once as an outcome of the sample space, it follows that the N of E or the number of uh, an event can occur is only one. And also there are two possible outcomes in the sample space which corresponds to N of S is equal to two. This is the sample space. And then using the formula for getting the probability of an event, we have N of E is divided by N of S. I already defined what is N of E and N of S. So our N of E from the previous, we have uh, N of E is equal to 1 and N of S is equal to 2. So we just substitute what is the value of N of E and N of S. Therefore, the probability of getting ahead in flipping a coin is one half. 